Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly journal reading. This is for the sign of Sagittarius. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Sagittarius placement that you find relevant. Speaking of which, there you are. Any sign, any, any aspect, you may find messages that resonate. Wow. What is this, a page party? What's going on? Some of you definitely have kids. Maybe this is something to do with your kids. But, oh, oh. What? Okay. So, personal reading information that you will seen will be linked and listed in the description box. We'll pull some articles for you at the end to give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, we're jumping right in, Sagittarius. I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience in advance. So, first card out, we have Sagittarius energy with the Page of Wands. That is absolutely your energy in its uh, most innocent form. Um, we also have the Five of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. So, off the bat, I just heard pettiness. There could be some sort of pettiness that's going on. I feel like people are acting childish is really what's going on. Some of you could definitely have lots of little kids or lots of kids, right? Maybe they're fighting over something, acting like a bunch of kids. But I do feel like there's some sort of um, immaturity amongst a group of either friends, co-workers, uh, maybe people in your industry, but definitely childish behavior. And I don't just think it's one person. I think it's multiple people involved in one particular situation that's acting very childish. A lot of uh, gossiping, a lot of spying, a lot of, you know, like looking people up. I don't know. This is the kind of vibe I'm getting, but I do get, because I do see you here as the page of wands, possibly. Maybe it's something you said. Maybe it's something that is happening for you, some sort of victory, some sort of achievement. That there may be people around you that are just very childish, whether you know it or not. Or you kind of get the vibe. I think you'll find out about it, though. The Ace of Swords here tells me you will know. If you don't know now, you are going to find out if there's things being said about you. But I do get maybe there's some sort of victory or some sort of... Um, some sort of accomplishment that you're about to either have or have recently have something you have been working hard towards or there's you know it's been very challenging it's been a lot of competition but you are you know you're the winner because the six of wands here comes directly after the five someone that's won a battle someone that's won a battle and the Ace of Swords is also victory. So whatever it is that's going on right now, any type of pettiness, any sort of childishness, people talking behind your back or gossiping or, you know, this is the vibe like you hit the lick and then some people around you switch vibes. So all of a sudden you're kind of seeing like who was, a, who was always a friend of me, who was always a hater, but you will overcome. You'll leave these people behind, definitely. That's what's happening here. Going from the five to the six. Some of you might be a new job. Some sort of new job that's really going to set you up. It does seem like you've been working hard towards this. Maybe some sort of study, something you've been studying. That's going to increase your earning potential for some of you. For some of you, it's something that you're taking public. Or maybe some sort of business you have is finally sort of blooming. And then people are going to start acting petty and childish around you. But either way, I love the fact that we're coming out with the Ace of Wands and the Six of Swords. So regardless of what's going on, it won't matter to you. It's not going to affect you. What do we have at the bottom of the deck? And Swords. Yeah, you've, you've worked. You might, you might have to leave some people behind. You definitely might have to leave some people behind. So it will not be easy because I feel like the people, whoever, some of the people will surprise you. It will be people that are very close to you. Or people that you thought you know you were friends with or had a connection with or wouldn't do things like this too because now we have two fives here so there is some sort of change that whatever this victory or whatever this um accomplishment is going to change it's going to it's going to create some sort of change but nine of swords shows me this is not something that just happened overnight for you 
You've been stressing about whatever this is, whatever this accomplishment is. Blood, sweat, and tears went into it. So now that you're overcoming and you're finally being recognized for all the late nights, early mornings, you know, people might not, un they didn't see all this. Because I you see how this is behind it. They didn't see all the things you went through to get to where you are now. They just see the success. This is also a yes card too. This is also a right now card. So this is happening like now. Ten of Cups, yeah. Yeah, some of you, it's definitely around work and stability. Because I do see you're going to be able to help people around you, your neighborhood, your family. You are going to be helping people. But that could also be the problem. You also have two sixes here too. So two fives, two sixes, and three pages. And one ace. And a partridge and a pear tree. Yeah, and two fives. Okay, let's get the guidance for you, Sagittarius. What is the guidance for Sagittarius, please? Yeah, some of you, it's, it's absolutely going to change. If there's some sort of poverty now, that's going to get ready to change, especially with these two fires here. No more poverty. A fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. Yeah, that's the, definitely the vibe that I'm getting. We are in Aries season. As I said, it's, this is happening now. Something is about to change here. The shift, the hard work, all the determination, blood, sweat, and tears, sleepless nights, broke days, over. But that also brings in a whole new set of problems, right? Looks like it's among your um, community, family, friends, that type of thing. Because I am seeing you went from rich, from like broke to like, you know, good. You're not able to see progress. Yeah, going from the five to the six of pentacles. Some of you could be actors, singers, that type of thing with the Queen of Wands here. Some sort of creative endeavor, artist. Okay. Hold your vision. Told you. Something you've been working on. Something you've been wanting as far as maybe career or, or um, you know, that type of thing. It's, it's about to take off. Definitely could be going viral type of vibes if that's applicable. What do we have for Sagittarius? You've been working on the almost a sense of mastery. The only um, page that is missing is the page of cups, which is surprise energy out of the blue energy. Be here now, hummingbird spirit number thirty-four. Yeah, so this is there's a emphasis on enjoy this because you have been fighting very hard to be where you're at. Don't make new goals quite yet. Enjoy, bask a little bit. In, in your new level that you've unlocked. You know? Be present. Don't get caught up, especially what other people want from you. Let's get one of these for Sagittarius. Some of you do have children, though. Looks like they're going to be good. They're going to be good. Future set up. What do we have for Sagittarius? Okay. Minitakin, longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. Hmm. Yeah, this is giving me the vibe that um, you know, as as it goes, as the story goes, especially for dealing with finances here and financial abundance, when you've been living in a state of quote unquote poverty, mindset, reality, whatever. Thing, and once you switch out of that reality, things change, right? You might want to hold on to normalcy, what you've been. But it, it, with every phase of life, you got to move differently, act differently, think differently. And it's, I mean, that's just the way it is. Because what took you, what, what got you to where you wanted to be is not, is not the vibration that's going to keep you there. You got to switch the vibration in order to maintain where you've been striving for, right? Because you've been striving to be where you are out of lack, Oh, I need this. I need this. I need to grow my money. I need to grow my money. So now that you, the money's grown, it's going to take a different mindset to maintain the money, right? Now you got to switch to maintain, maintaining money mindset, which definitely might require you to cut some people off because true colors will be shown here. It's the vibe that I'm getting. True colors will be shown here. Some of you will be within your family. 
close friends, that type of thing. You'll give and give and give until you can't. And this is almost saying if you give too much, you might end up right back where you started. So discernment and clarity. Make sure that you're seeing things clearly and being fair and being just. And if you need to move away from anyone, that is also Vic. That is Victor. You're already getting the yes here. You're already getting the go ahead. Get rid of who you, you feel you need to get rid of. In order not to slip back into poverty mindset, right? Because people around you are most likely still in poverty mindset. So they're going to be tempted to pull you back. Just the, just, just the way it goes. All right, Sagittarius, that is your reading. I really do hope it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment if it does. I'll see you guys next week.